back all you beautiful, wonderful, amazing people of the world. Wow. Today, we have a Patreon recommendation from Nathan. Thank you for your support, Nathan. Nathan. Yeah, absolutely. If you guys would like to support us just like Nathan, there will be links posted in the description box to this post below. And with that said, this is... Galabraid. Ashen Erelon. Go. driving rock beat with the, the, the guitars beat, right? are yeah. so good these melodic guitars and the lead just came in right now yeah. the vocals are too low in the mix when they came in i'm like gotta uh -huh. bring them up i can barely hear the mm -hmm. vocals but just Into yeah. very bluesy. That's good. reminds me of like a hangar 18 from uh maydeath okay. track yeah okay. but i don't know if yeah i'm just not putting two and two together that's just what it reminds me of okay.
It's just very like, ah. Oh. Sounds like Gollum is singing for this band. That's what it reminds oh, okay, me of. That kind yeah. of Gollum. Well, the sound is almost like, you know, the <laughs> gold, like Lord of the Rings type sound. But, you know, that's what I mean. Like, it's for the just vocalist. Like very, oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. It sounded like he died. <laughs> for his part, like he fell off the cliff and was like, ah, oh, <laughs> like he was falling. That was cool. That stop and then... I like the drum beat. Yeah. The drum. Yeah, the drum beat. Yeah. Picked it up. <laughs> Wait, not yet. Ah. Is it just me or these guys have really good guitar like melodies and, they and rhythms? I, I and think so. the, they they've written some incredible everyone has been really catchy. Like I'm right away you hear what it picked up. Yeah. I'm enjoying the dun, dun, uh, it came the back guitars in. and the drums. Yeah. And, yeah. Yeah, like that. Oh, so yeah, very like. Yeah. It's almost 80s. Yeah. 80s, right? Yeah. It's like an 80s pop song. Pop song. Yeah. Pop song. Yeah. I just want to go to the end. I get it, right? I love how the, the drums are very loud too. Like it's this quite beautiful, like acoustic almost sounding guitar and it has a lead, like there's two guitars, but the drums are just like boom, pop, boom. Yeah, like, there's yeah. a lot going on. Yeah, there's no, a lot like, going on. I'm enjoying it, but <laughs> right now I'm like, okay, and what is this? <laughs> Part okay. of the surprise. They're so dang catchy. I mean, it was like a feel just like bob your head right off the back. Like, kind of high, great melody to keep the door and the beat of it. With the keys. They dropped it. I like that chord progression, how they dropped it. Spin it again, drop it. Back up.
they just went full Iron Maiden. Am I off on this? They did. They did. They had the double bass, you know, I don't think Iron Maiden had, but the melodic guitars and everything with it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, big time. What, where did pretty. she come from? Were they buried her in the background? She came. She I, began I wish she would have come off sooner. <laughs> well, the other vocals like, ah, oh, and then she's like, I'm free. No, that sounds <laughs> great. Sorry. With with the guitars and the yeah, it, it's, it's crazy. Great. I don't know. Like this band is just like because it's like 15 minutes. So is it like this story? Like, is it really feels like it? Back, back. I'm 
the swimming in the sea. Where did it go wrong? That's it. That's the end of the song, right? That's it. Yeah, they had such beautiful. Nathan, Nathan. Oh, it's pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, I don't know anything about this band. I don't know if they're like black metal because the the vocals oh. are kind of like a black metal style. Yeah. But the the rhythm and stuff. The only thing the the production I absolutely love because the production of it was so raw. It sounded so like kind of dirty, even though it yeah. had very melodic and groovy like parts. Gritty. gritty. Okay. And I like I love that because everything is so clean and polished these days and. In a lot of bands that we hear, like the production is so clean. This band had a really raw sound to them. The only thing was the vocals were too too berry. I wanted to hear them louder because you know I wasn't the biggest fan of the vocals until the very end. Like after they had like a female, I don't know if she's part of the band. Like she did the, the female vocals, yeah. Were flooring. I thought they were that great. was great. It was but I, I I do agree. Um, yeah, I struggled through the song with, with the, the vocals, vocals, right? Because everything else was just amazing. It was, it was really there was incredible. a level of familiarity. There was a level of where it like you said, it, it it the production I think has a lot to do with it where it sounded familiar almost and that's what we I I enjoyed. And it was just such a level of musicianship that we heard but with the vocals, it was like, ah. Uh, it took me until the very end, though, after they, yeah. the, the female, I'm assuming, came in. I don't know if she did, like, a guest appearance or if she is part of the band. And then after, and then it picked back I up and the vocals great. came back yeah. in. And that's when I finally, I think I was like, okay, I think I'm starting to understand the vocals and it's fitting with the music for me. Because mm -hmm. at the very end, when those vocals came in, I yeah. did like it. But it, they were too low in the mix. But at yeah. first, I was the same thing. I'm like, I'm not too sure about the vocals. Yeah. Like, it's fitting. Yeah. Um, until the very end, then I'm like, it started clicking. Because sometimes you hear bands and like something might throw you off. And then yeah. the more you, more you hear me, you might like them. So at the very end, I was like, maybe yeah, I will to grow yeah, yeah. to these vocals that I will like. Because at the very end, I loved it. And, but they were too low in the mix. That was the only, the only thing I could say. But I think the, the guitarists were in the in the rhythms and the grooves of the drums were so excellent. I mean, they are instant. It was, I mean, there was, there was some melodies. Yeah, boppy. Like, it was catchy, but still very raw. and mm -hmm. It uh, had that raw, energetic, raw mm -hmm. feel and sound to it. And I loved it. I mean, I thought it was a great song from top to finish. I think it was beautifully written. Yeah. Everywhere. Everywhere flowed. I think some things maybe went on too long. Some of the rhythms went on too long. Mm -hmm. You don't want to get stale for too long. You want to drop in because every transition they did was excellent. Everything they did was great. So I think if they cut it, maybe, you know, just hearing it. But that being said, if you get to know the song, this is a song you want to go for a long time. So you yeah. want those rhythms to continue because you would they're beautiful rhythms when you get zoned and you want to head bob and you want to because they carry really, you through. Carry you through because yeah. they really have that atmospheric type of sound, which is crazy because they are yeah. an intense band that you kind of float your way in the clouds for a bit on some no, of the right. they and that's did what makes it amazing. So yeah. I get that part of it too. I yeah. probably have to listen to it longer, mm -hmm. but that's it. Nathan, thank you for your support. If you guys would like to support us just like Nathan, there'll be links posted in the description box of this post below. below.